everyone, Tim Brown. Welcome back to Mabel Podcast. For this episode, I want to focus on some app updates for iOS. There have been some exciting ones over the past three weeks, and I want to highlight a few. Uh, for example, right on the heels of WWDC, when Apple announced its new news app, Flipboard came out with a new feature. Now you can add comments, images, and or web links directly into your magazines. That is your personal magazines, the ones that you set up on your phone. You do that by going to your personal profile and either accessing existing magazines or starting a new one. Once you have magazines set up, you can then go ahead and then quickly add comments to update your followers, images, web links to other stories, and so forth. Pretty cool. A pretty easy and convenient way to keep your magazines flowing and keeping your followers updated. Paper by 53 just released a new update for their application about a couple weeks ago, now enabling you to create diagrams. So when you open the application, you have your usual tools along the bottom. But if you swipe, you can see that you get another set of tools. And with these tools, you can use them to draw diagrams, um, maps, and you can edit them by selecting each color and then going to your palette menu to change those colors. You can cut those shapes out and then move them around or reconfigure them. Uh, this is great for whether you're designing an app or just coming up with a, you know, a diagram or, or design for how you want to map out your ideas. You know, Paper is a cool application for integrating that traditional process of how you draw out your ideas, but doing this in a digital format. Nice update by paper. And Google came out with a new Photos application for iOS. The app is absolutely superb and one of the best applications out there for iOS. So why is it so great? Well, one, there's a beautiful user interface and ways to access your folders, including ways to organize albums and so forth. But what's really cool is that Google Photos also gives you the opportunity to set up videos, uh, slideshows, animations, which Google will do automatically for you. As a matter of fact, if you swipe to the right, you'll see that Google will always have a list of recommendations for you, including collage arrangements as well. This is a wonderful application. If you don't have it, check it out. It's worth it. And finally, I want to highlight Curator. Curator is an application that enables you to store your collections in the form of portfolios. What's nice about Curator is a beautiful user interface. It's easy to navigate, but now you can import images from just about any source, including Pinterest, and load images right into your portfolios. And if you wind up accumulating too many photos, Curator now offers an affordable cloud-based service if you need extended storage. This is a great service to have in addition to all of your storage needs. This is Tim Brown. Thanks for tuning in for another episode of My Apple Podcast. Check me out at myapplepodcast.com or you can find me on Twitter and YouTube. See you next time.